you're watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2018 in Los Angeles. And I'm joined now by Shriraj Gaglani of Metaswitch. Shriraj, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Over the past few years, we've seen an increasing demand for more cost-effective and flexible software-defined switching fabric. How has this been addressed by the industry to date? So to date, the only companies that have been able to address the architectural evolution of hyperscale data centers have been the large hyperscale uh, cloud computing providers. And the way they have done it is they have gone off and disaggregated all of the components of a network. The silicon, the system, the operating system, and the protocol, and the management layers. And they've been able to work with the technology industry to source these, uh, these components in individual uh, component formats but then they've also been able to apply very large armies of sophisticated network engineers to reassemble and put these custom solutions back together again. Unfortunately, the rest of the industry doesn't have access to those capabilities and resources, and so the penetration of hyperscale networking techniques have been slow to penetrate the rest of the industry. How is the concept of network disaggregation evolving to address this limitation you mentioned? So we've seen in the last few years, the market has moved from completely monolithic solutions uh, provided by the traditional OEMs into what we call open networking 1.0, which was a disaggregation of software from hardware. And this was a very important step in the evolution of the market. Uh, customers could go off and source uh, technology from startups that were developing these disaggregated software stacks or from open source. However, <clears throat> it's become quite clear that to get the full benefit of disaggregated networking, the way the hyperscalers derive those benefits, it's important to get complete disaggregation of the software stack and to work with proven protocols, commercially supported protocols, uh, and, and, and commercially supported elements of the rest of the stack. And we are starting to see now the emergence of new open network operating systems that will support these ecosystems of completely disaggregated solutions. What are the components that Metaswitch is delivering to enable this composable networking? So one of the most mission critical elements of a network stack are the protocol stacks. Layer two, layer three, um, IP and MPLS protocol stacks. Metaswitch has been delivering these for over 35 years to hundreds of network OEMs. So we have very proven carrier grade protocol stacks uh, <clears throat> that we are now making available in binary form as Linux applications that will run on any of these open Linux switch platforms. And we are partnering up with uh, Dell. So we're going to announce that uh, tomorrow that uh, Dell and Metaswitch are coming together to bring their disaggregated hardware and operating system pieces. And we are integrating our protocol stacks and management layer as applications that run on the open switch platform delivered by Dell to provide a complete solution to the market. What makes the Metaswitch composable networking protocols unique? So being mission critical pieces of technology Protocol stacks require a long period of hardening. Metaswitch has been doing this for over 35 years, and we've hardened our protocol stacks by delivering them into the market with over 250 network OEMs to date. So the fact that they're hardened, um, the fact that they're trusted, they're proven, uh, makes them very unique, especially because we're providing them in a merchant application form which traditionally has not been available from the OEMs in the market. The other thing that makes it very unique is the fact that these protocols are developed using a microservices methodology. That means that you can now purchase and deploy and upgrade or downgrade exactly the protocol that you would like. And you don't have to deal with code bloat, right? You're dealing with only software applications that you want to work with. And this reduces the surface area of operations. This reduces the surface area of errors. It makes the entire software stack more efficient. 
Bottom line then, what's the benefit to telcos? So the, the benefits to the telco are primarily on the OPEX side. <laughs> uh, by providing protocol stacks as microservices uh, applications, you can now reduce the surface area of the software that you're delivering. You can individually upgrade, downgrade, remove protocols uh, in, a, in, a, in a very custom manner. You can mix and match protocols from different vendors as you choose. And there are a lot of benefits associated with the fact that when you touch these protocols and you install them and you downgrade them or upgrade them, you do not have to touch the other components of the system. So one of the biggest benefits we're seeing is the fact that you can now do in-service software upgrades, uh, as an example, right? You change an application and you don't have to touch the operating system. It's just like applications on your phone now. When you download an app on your phone, you don't have to restart the phone to run the app. So this is going to work exactly the same way. Shiraj, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.